This Noonan man's job search ended with his arrest. Police say he robbed a restaurant but left completed job application behind. Fox Five's Doug Evans has the story. Some investigations are easier than others. Here's body cam video from last weekend outside a Noonan Subway restaurant that had just been robbed. The officer is holding a piece of paper that employees had given him when he arrived. As he reads it, you can see he starts to understand what it is, what the suspect had left behind. Found an application. It's a completed job application to a different Noonan restaurant, and it's key to identifying the robbery suspect. Everything. Everything you would leave in an application or any other citizen would leave in an application. Name, date of birth, address. Minutes later, police say they found 24-year-old Jaquavia Seals. It's his name on the job application left behind at the subway. Police say he admitted to job hunting that day and filling out applications and gave the name of several local businesses, including Subway. Police say it started when SEALs inquired about a job at Subway on Temple Avenue earlier in the day. They say the restaurant told him they had openings for day positions. They say SEALs left. Apparently he filled out an application at another business and brought it back with him to Subway. After sitting at a table for a while, police say he went to the register and demanded cash. Where he robbed them by sudden snatching the till and all the money in there in got out of the store and ran off. Noonan police say they've charged seals with strong-armed robbery. At the subway, employees told police that while Seals was snatching the cash drawer, he mentioned to them that he was, well, I'll paraphrase here, in a messed up situation. Police say they're not sure what changed his mind from earning money to stealing it. I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News in Noonan. Yeah, so a lot of people were clowning this guy you know, uh, about, you know, leaving the application at the scene of the crime. I mean, it, it's funny, but all jokes aside, it, it can be tough when you're down on your luck, but you can't let that push you into making a poor decision like this young man made because whatever messed up situation that he said he was in, he just made things worse for himself by robbing that subway. And I guess he thought he would get away with it. And, and maybe he would have, but, he left his job application with all of his information on it uh, at the scene. So even, even if he would have gotten away with it for a short time, I think the, uh, the cops would eventually catch up to him um, because I, I mean, I'm pretty sure he was caught on camera inside the subway, taking the money from the register. And then um, he was, he was caught with the money on him. And then, you know, there's the application that he left behind. So, um, yeah, look, no matter how messed up you think your situation may be, just try to always do the right thing. Uh, I remember there was a saying uh, when I was in the Army, uh, there was a saying I would hear all the time, which I think can be applied to life, and that is choose the hard right over the easy wrong. I'm not going to say that his his entire life is ruined now. Um, he's, he's 24 years old, and, and I think that he can recover from this. Uh, but it's just going to take some time and hopefully he learns from this and not get caught up in something like that again to the point where he, you know, goes out and reoffends. I mean, it, it's just not worth it. Um, just try to do the right thing. So y'all take care, stay safe, stay out of trouble and just make better choices.